Hi, this is Vengadeshan, Department of Chemistry, St. Joseph's College of Art and Science, Kadalur, Tamil Nadu. Tottanai Thurum Manarkeni Mandarku Katranai Thurum Arivu Thirukkural. Hi, dear students. Now we are going to see about an important topic that is quantum chemistry. In my previous videos, we have discussed the Schrodinger equation for 1D box. Now we are going to see about for 3 dimensional box. So from, <coughs> from the Schrodinger equation, H cap psi equal to E psi, you know that this is a time independent Schrodinger wave equation. From this, H is called as Hamiltonian. H cross square 2m dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square plus v psi equal to e psi here we are taking as x y and z because this is in three dimensional box for the one dimensional box only we are taking as one direction that is in x direction we know that particle in, inside the box the potential energy is zero so v equal to zero hence h cross square by 2m dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square psi equal to e psi So here the v equal to 0, v equal to 0, hence the equation becomes this like. Now, minus h cross square by 2m dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square is equal to e psi. So here, Three types of variables are there x, y, and dz. That is why we are going for the separation of the variables to find out solution for each variables. Next, the separation of the variables. Technus psi equal to x, y, z that you can take as x of x y of y and z of z now substitute this separation variable to the above equation substitute in above equation and divided by x of x y of y z of z by dividing this 3 you are obtained as minus h cross by 2m now see here <coughs> so this is this is common minus h cross square by 2m this is common this one we have taken the bracket Now it is 1 by x dou square x by dou x square minus h cross square by 2m 1 by y dou square y by dou y square minus h cross by 2m 1 by z dou square z by dou z square is equal to so now from here we are multiplied minus h cross square by 2m to all the variables so we are obtained as all the variables having all the variables we are having minus h cross square by 2m that is equal to e now now you see that <coughs> the x value is depending upon the x variable is depending upon that only x y is for y and z is for z 
so each term is like an one dimensional box each term is like an one dimensional box so whatever we are obtain the one dimensional box that same solution is for the each variables that is x y and z now this is we are separately write as h square by 2m 1 by x do square x by do x square is equal to e second term is minus h square square by 2m 1 by y do square y by do y square is equal to this is e x this one is e y minus h square square by 2m 1 by z do square z by do z square that is equal to e z so each one act as as one dimensional box for the t for the three dimensional box it is an addition of the x y and z so you can take as e x plus e y plus e z that is equal to e now we know that the boundary conditions are there boundary condition that is x equal to 0 x equal to l and same for y equal to 0 y equal to l is that equal to 0 is that equal to l now we are now we are applying the boundary conditions and we find out the wave function for each variables so already we are known that from the first one dimensional box the wave function is the wave function for the one direction that is in one dimension that is equal to a x sin n nx pi x by lx here we are having three direction so we are having psi of y equal to a y sin n y pi y by l y and third one psi of z equal to a z sin n z pi z by l z so this is the wave function now we are going to normalize the wave function by applying the limits So now we are going to normalize the wave function. Then it equal to of l dx zero of l dy zero of l dz psi star x y z psi of x y z. So by substituting the psi value that is for x means ax sin nx pi x by lx same for y and z by substituting in the first dimensional box in one dimensional box we are obtain for each one as square root of 2 by l so for the y direction that is square root of 2 by ly for the z direction 2 of l z this is we are obtained so the of ax ay and az is equal to square root of 8 by lx ly and lz so now complete wave function is psi equal to square root of 8 by lx ly lz sin of n nx pi x by lx sin of ny pi y by ly sin of 
n is at pi is at by l is at. So this is the complete wave function for the three dimensional box. Each and every one is an one dimensional box. For the x direction, taken as one y one dimensional is at also in one dimensional. Collectively, it is an three dimensional one. If now we are going to find out the energy for energy for the particles. So for that one dimensional box, we know that for the one dimensional e equal to n square h square by 8m l square. Now it is in three dimensional box. The energy becomes e equal to n x square by l x square plus n y square by l y square plus n z square by l z square h square by 8m so this is for three dimensional this one is for one dimensional it is an addition of three um, x y and z now whenever the l x that is equal to l y that is equal to l z then you can take as l so this is like an cube like form when the three dimension is in cubical form q form then all the direction all the lengths are equals now the energy is become e equal to n x square plus n y square plus n z square height square by 8 m l square so this is for the energy of the particle in three dimensional box thank you very much